So I play Brian Mills, who is the character that people have grown to love in the, in the Taken franchise that they've seen in the films and the, in the movies, played by Liam Neeson. But this is Brian Mills, a lot younger, and at the very beginning of his journey. We all have, um, who, we all have seen the film, have become uh, quite fond of that speech that um, Brian Mills delivers. You know, I don't know who you are, I don't know what you want. Um, but he talks about he has a particular set of skills. Um, Brian, young Brian that I play, has that particular set of skills. But this is about how he formulates them and how he becomes that grizzled veteran of the CIA that we meet in the film. This is about all of the adventures he gets up to, all of, um, you know, everything that shapes the man. Season one was all about um, him learning the rules. And now we have him in season two. Um, and I'm so excited to, to present season two to everyone because now it's about Brian breaking the rules. You know, he's, he's, he's learnt the ropes. Um, Christina Hart has now taken him on board in a smaller uh, team just with Kilroy the hacker, Santana the logistics expert um, who spent time with special forces, and then Christina Hart who we've all known from season one. But now it's, it's the, the, the missions are a lot more personal. They're working outside of the grid and now they're able to do, it's not always going to be about you know, big government cover-ups. Sometimes it's going to be a very personal story. And I feel like now we've gone right back to what the, the film is about. Now we've given you the origin story, we're now giving you the character and, and his journey. What I love about um, what Greg uh, Plagerman is doing with um, season two, the new showrunner, is he's taking very personal stories now and, and we have a, s a smaller cast, we have often a guest of the week and we really get to know that character so we feel for them and they pull at the heartstrings and then when Brian goes on that journey, whether it's a person being taken or an object that's being taken or himself being taken, you care so much more about it because we've, you know, we've spent time in season one getting to know who this character is. Well, season two starts at a low point for all of the characters. Um, Christina has, uh, has had her team disbanded, she's now lost her job, and she's now um, starting a, a new enterprise, um, working for a, a billionaire who has a, a, a computer program that can help find criminals and, and, and work with the government. But she's not happy where she is. She's using her um, espionage skills for, for, for the corporate machine. And Brian is stuck in a Mexican prison uh, you know, he's gringo meat, um, uh, he's having to survive on the margins by bare knuckle footboxing, um, but the whole time he's, he's figuring a way out. He's kind of grizzled and, um, um, and he's, he's a very different man. He's been taken to, to the bottom of the, of the, of the barrel and um, has still come up for air. Um, so once he gets out of that prison, it's, it's no holds barred, this, this is a man on fire. So we have two you know, new main characters coming into to the fold in season two. We have Kilroy and we have Santana. Um, when they join the team with Christina Hart and Brian, it's very much, for Brian anyway, a very dysfunctional family. I think what audiences can expect week in, week out on Taken is um, obviously a thrill ride of action. It's an action show. But this one has heart. Um, Brian has heart and it's they're very personal stories a lot of the time. So it's not always the case that someone gets taken, something will get taken. There's a different case each week and there will be serialized moments between the characters. What we've discovered this season is everything is like a mini movie. You know, we can have, you know, if, if something's taken and it happens to be uh, an object, um, for instance, a piece of art, um, then it becomes like the Thomas Crown Affair for a week. Then sometimes, you know, some, if someone's taken, then it is a hostage drama, a kidnap drama. Sometimes it's about something that's taken personally from a character, and then it becomes, you know, more of a, an emotional roller coaster. It's always original, but at the end of the day, the format is taken. It's about one man who's a lone wolf, and he will stop at nothing to, to get to that person or, or to that objective. You have to put a bullet in Brian's head to stop him.